Good morning there guys, um, just here on a job in Kings Meadows that we've just finished, um, come and check it out. It's a little bit wet today so uh, please forgive me if, it's, uh, if the quality of this video is not great. Um, but yeah we've come in here and we've laid some 40mm um, synthetic turf um, for the client's puppy dog to, to do its damage on. Uh, the client's going to run some pebbles through this area here along the garden beds and then put some uh, some olive plants uh, in, a, in some pots in those beds. As you can see, the puppy dog has already done some done some work on the turf. Um, so this turf's actually infilled with smell be gone, so that'll help with the dog, um, the smells from the dog urine. And here's the major mission of the job. It's a putting green. So we'll do the odd putting green here at Tassie Artificial Turf. Um, as you can see, it's a bit of a kidney shape, three holes. So predominantly, the putts will be taken from from this end here, um, slightly sloping that way, uh, and obviously sl sloping down towards us down this end as well. Um, so we've used a, a 40 mil fringe around the outside. Um, we actually laid this one yesterday, um, and the temperature was th maximum of 13 degrees. Uh, so we got a bit of sun in the afternoon, which wasn't too bad. It helped out quite a bit. Um, so we run a brick motion just to define where those garden beds will go. Uh, there's the olive trees right there in those pots, so those pots are going to be placed into the garden bed by the client with some pebbles placed around as well. So yeah, we've placed the, the brick edging um, on both sides of this job just to really define that edge, keep, keep that width um, for, for the, uh, for the olive, olive plants. Um, and then we run our turf around the outside um, of the job. Um, you can sort of see it, the angles probably aren't great for viewing this one. Uh, but all of our turf faces, faces us this way. So three holes, just got our cups, which were supplied by David Golf. So nice and easy to lift that ball up and, and get it out. Um, and that type of thing. So that's it there. You can sort of see that's the smell be gone there. We'll hose that off in a moment. Michael's just heading down now with, his, with the hose so we can keep this job looking nice but um, I think once these olive plants and pebbles go in this garden bed this job's going to look absolutely sensational so yeah it's been a nice job been a little bit challenging with the weather as you can see today is pretty horrible here in Launceston but um, you've just got to bear with it so today it's mainly just finishing off um, the hosing getting all the paths nice we got all our joins in yesterday so all the blue's gone, on, gone off overnight um, and yeah this turf, turf area should settle in quite well uh, I decided to put a couple of stones in here just to take away a bit of the steepness in that bank. Uh, and another one just over here. I want to uh, source these from my property. And it just just gives the, the green a little bit of character and, and takes a little bit of the steepness away from this bank, especially in this bottom corner where we have built it up quite a bit um, higher than the um, the brick mow strip and then obviously the path coming through there. So, But I think it looks quite cool. Um, and yeah. In the next week or two, this will just settle in a little bit with a bit of use. Um, hopefully we get a bit of sun so that turf can sort of sit up a bit more vertical. But at the moment, uh, it's just laying a little bit flat for those reasons. Being a bit cool here in, in Launceston. We've got a real cold snap at the moment, actually. But anyway, I'm real happy with this job. It's coming up real nice. As you can see, there's the there's that smell we've gone that we've uh, infilled within there. So, great product. Um, hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope everybody has a really good day. Thanks guys. Bye-bye.